Look, some of the agave are blooming. That's beautiful. That one has a shoot just coming up, and this one is starting to bloom. It looks very tropical. We've been adding gray water to this patch. Seems like it's helping. I've got a lot more seeds started. They're mainly flowers, and we did direct sowing. Here's larkspur and also the California poppy in this area here. And we have a mixture of poppies in this one, the blue and purple. I finally got around to moving the compost heap and it's doing much better. I keep it covered and also moist. And it is about 140. So it's hot compost. Now that I've got this going, I'm probably going to do it every two to three days. Just move it so it'll keep on breaking down. But I am trying to keep it covered. Let me not keep that in there. Cover it back up. I grew some lettuce in the arrow garden and they are already repotted into larger pots. But I'm getting this row ready here for the lettuce. I'm going to put the plants in there. And then brassicas and squash are going to go here. And like I told you, I already have corn and sunflowers. Not sure what I'm going to do this area for. It does get the most sun out of all the beds. So probably tomatoes and peppers. I have a stack of rocks by my rig. So I'm going to finish out this border here. Go all the way to the fence. Awesome! The green beans and snap peas are coming up. No signs. Well, actually, is that the cu yeah, the cucumbers coming up as well. Nice. I've got the first row here, which are going to be a variety of lettuce. And I'm going to do comfrey here, marigolds next to it. Then this one is a lettuce. It's the red sails. Then we got more comfrey over here. Then in between those, I'm going to plant marigold seeds. I'm going to kind of intersperse the marigold. The marigolds that I'm going to use are the organic Cracker Jack marigold. Just so it's a companion planting. Then we have more lettuce here. I have, I think, like eight more growing in a pod in the arrow garden. So I'll plant the rest of those here once they come up. But I like it so far. I'm just hoping this spot is not too sunny because it, it does get a lot of sun and I know lettuce doesn't do too well full sun all the time. But I am planning to do a little taller plants here in the back. So hopefully those will help shade out the lettuce. No signs from the corn yet, but looky looky. We have some signs of life from the sunflower. It's kind of hard to see. I'll, I'll pick another spot. Here we go. Nice. I'm excited about those. Yep, they're all coming up. 
all along here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted. I did harden off these plants, but I'm still gonna use the mini greenhouse design that I did just to give them extra protection until they get a little bigger. So it's much better since I added the amendment in. Hopefully they'll do well. Break through the cardboard. I did have cardboard down. grab more jugs. I have to put one over the basil down there and I've got these planted out and covered. I think this is going to help because the paper lining is on the back and it gives it shade. So that's amazing. And I have to finish planting these out because they have sprouted already. And these are going to be easy because they're just plugs. So I'm just going to poke a hole, put the plug in, and then cover it with one of the containers. I do have to cut slots in there so that way it fits over the drip tape and doesn't um, doesn't push it down because that wouldn't be good. So yeah, I'm, I'm placing that over there and I think that's gonna work out nicely. Down here I planted two and then I planted a marigold two and then a marigold. But here I'm running out of space. I need some space for the lettuce. So I did four marigold and then I'm gonna do four and then another marigold. Before we got back to the property, I did lay down compost in this middle row, also the back row. I didn't in the front row, that's why I had to mend it, but I am thinking I'm going to go ahead and plant these out so I can cut these three lines on in the drip system. I've got the nasturtiums, also broccoli, and I have some spaghetti squash. The squash will go first, then I'll do the broccoli, and I'll interplant the nasturtiums. I wanted to plant zucchini, but I couldn't find the seeds. And then I remembered that I actually had planted some out and they were growing in a pot. So I'm gonna do the first three here, zucchini, then I'm gonna do the spaghetti squash and then some broccoli. Okay, everything is planted and the dripper is on. We have nasturtiums here. Like I said, all the lettuce up front. I did spaghetti squash here to there and then zucchini from there on. Then some broccoli. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I did two broccoli down here. I need to tag that because I almost forgot about that. This is where the other broccoli is. Then next to that is chives. We've got two things of that. And then I've got the cucumbers, market more. And then I got the sugar snap peas and the Kentucky Wanderer green beans. Awesome. First bed completely done and planted. Okay, now as for the second garden bed, I have to rework this because some plantings I did before the drip system was down and they're not running with the drip system, so that's a problem. So I'm going to have to redo this whole bed. Luckily, I only planted out a little bit, so there's not a lot that I have to do. And this bed does have its own cutoff switches, so the water is not even running to these yet, which is good. I like that about this system. Yeah, I'm just going to rework the plants that I've already planted. I had nasturtiums here, some kale and lettuce, but obviously those aren't going to work. And I still have to compost and mulch this side of the bed. And not to mention this is going to be the tomato and pepper bed. And it's still not warm enough for those crops, so I still have time on that. It's a quarter to four. I'm taking a break. I have to remind myself sometimes to eat lunch because breakfast comes easy. It's one of the first things I do. It's just lunch. On the other hand, uh, sometimes I skip and just eat dinner, which is not good, especially if I'm doing a lot of work and stuff. I really should eat lunch. So I fixed this lovely salad with mixed greens and strawberries, tangerine, and some almonds and cashews. Uh, and I believe there's mushrooms and stuff in there too. Yum yum. Right, Momo? Yum yum. I forgot to feed myself, but I fed you at two. <laughs>